Hello, it's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another special, special video. And I'm back again on CV Talks. Obviously, CV Talks is a chance for me to express myself, but also to share some of the things I've written down as well that I think might be impactful and beneficial for you guys. So definitely check it out and keep listening. Don't go anywhere. Don't rush to anywhere. Take your time and listen to it well. So Today I'm told, I'm here to talk about the ten enemies of life. So life, you're gonna have lots of enemies. You're gonna have people that are, might be close to you. They might be your enemies. You're gonna have people that might surround you that also might be your enemies. But the number one enemy could be yourself because of different things, your mindset, the way you see things. But let me go into the video and then I'm gonna take it one by one. So number one, fear. Number one enemy of life, fear. Fear pre present. Fear prevents you from seizing opportunity. So in order to get to the levels that you want to get to, you've got to be willing to take risk. You've got to be willing to push yourself. You've got to be willing to swim against the tides. Because if you don't take those risks, if you're always fearful, you won't take opportunities that comes your way. And someone said, being poor means passing over opportunities regularly i think that's what it means i'm not sure but i'm gonna put it like that but anyways when you do have a lot of fear in your mind it just presents it just prevents you from seizing opportunities so there's so many opportunities that come your way that you know you should have taken but because you're scared oh is it gonna happen is it gonna do it and it's not just about opportunities it's just about things in life too if you don't have that confidence in yourself trust me a lot of things are gonna go past you so number two is ignorance ignorance prevents you from making good decisions so if you're always ignorant about certain things, you're always ignorant that, oh, this is not how it is, this is not it is. So you won't make good decisions because in order to make good decisions, your mind needs to be open. You need to be open-minded. You need to think differently. You need to be able to learn. So if you're not willing to do that, definitely you're going to be making bad decisions. Um, number three, anger. Anger prevents you from seeing clearly. So listen, anger is a very, very, very uh, bad thing. Obviously, it's a thing where you might miss you might say certain things that you don't mean you might do certain things that you don't meant to do that is not within your character so the best thing always is to always stay calm it's not easy to stay calm and if you know you're a person that has anger management or is angry the best thing always to do is always to walk away or to give yourself a bit of a break from that scenery because if you don't you might take actions that you're not meant to do they always say it, which i've said uh, this is a pigeon English. They say, no matter how hot your anger day, you know fit kukeba. Mm. No matter how hot your anger day, you know fit uh, boil water. So what he's saying is, no matter how hot you are when you're angry, it can't cook food. The heat of the anger can never cook a food, can never cook food. So it just means, listen, when you're angry, you just need time to cool down. You just need to relax. And you just need to just stay calm and take your away, yourself away from that situation so that you can think clearly. Also, in my religion as a Muslim, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, he, peace be upon him, advises that whenever you're angry, drink water. Just drink water. By the time you've drank water, you'll be calm as well. So number four, envy. Envy prevents you from focusing on yourself. Wow, envy is a big thing. Listen. Envy is a, is a very, very big thing because when you're envious, you look at other people and you think, oh, they have this, they have that. I don't have this. Why don't I have this? And sometimes it's not supposed to be like that because when you look at yourself, when you look within yourself, you realize that you have a lot of things. In fact, you realize that you're better than a lot of people. But still, obviously, so some people are still better than you, but you realize that you might be ahead of a lot of people that you think. But when you start looking at, looking at other people, comparing yourself, being envious of, each, of other, other people, then you don't really appreciate what you have. And then it prevents you from working on yourself. Instead of you to be developing yourself, to be improving yourself, you start thinking, ah, oh, let me just relax. Let me just calm down. Let me just, no, 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 no. Don't be too envious because it's going to prevent you from focusing on yourself. Number five, ego. Ego prevents you from learning from others. Oh, oh, ego is a big thing. Ego, pride is a big thing. Because naturally, human beings are born with ego. Man, woman, born with ego. All of a lot of times they accumulate, they attach ego to being a man because a lot of men have a lot of ego. 
But trust me, when you drop your ego, trust me, you can learn a lot of things from others. When you humble yourself, when you calm down, when you are able to learn, people will be able to teach you things. But if you feel like you know it all, the people that are supposed to help you, they probably won't help you because they think, oh yeah, he knows it all anyway, so why am I helping him? But if you humble yourself, you really, you behave like you don't actually know anything, trust me, the people will help you because people will automatically assume, oh, you're a dummy, you don't know anything. So they probably will likely to help you. Also, they say if you're the smartest in the room, then you're in the wrong room. So that also means if, you, if you're in a place where you that ego is big or you think you know it all, then you're in the wrong room because you can't learn from other people. And as human beings, we learn every day, so you should be able to learn from other people. Number six, doubt. Doubt prevents you from believing yourself, from believing yourself and taking risks to follow your dreams. So this doubt is like fear. When you start doubting yourself, when you start um, questioning yourself, am I good enough? Am I this? Am I? No, 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 no. That will start preventing you from following your dreams and also believing yourself. Trust me. You need a lot of self-confidence as well. You need a lot of self-confidence within yourself because you need to be, you need to be able to ensure that if people are not believing you, you believe in yourself. And over time, the more you keep doing it, the more you keep developing yourself, the more you keep growing, people will have no choice but to believe in you. So that's it. Number seven, hate. Hate present, prevents you from becoming a better person. Now, Obviously, in order to become a better person, you need to remove some level of hate as well from yourself and from other people as well. Obviously, people are going to hurt you. That's natural. That's normal. People are going to do things that are not right for you. But that doesn't mean you should start going around hating them and you should start, um, you should start hating them because that's just going to prevent you from being a better person. In order to be a better person, you've got to let some certain things go, things that might be affecting your mental health, things that might be affecting your physical health. Let them go and focus on yourself. Focus on becoming a better person. Develop on your weakness. Develop on areas that you know you're not strong enough. Those as well will help you become a better person. Number eight, unforgiveness. Unforgiveness prevents you from living as free person. Oh, forgiveness is a big part. Listen, in order to, like I said, about letting things go, you first of all, in order to forgive other people, you got to forgive yourself first. Once you're forgiving yourself, you know that, okay, cool. I might have made a mistake. I know that I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. But forgive yourself. And then forgive other people as well that hate you, that don't like you, that dislike you, that have something against you. And you know what? Let it go. Because when you let it go and you forgive yourself, what happens is when you forgive people, what happens is it feels like there's a weight taken away out. There's a weight lifted off your shoulders. That's how it feels. And you can live as a free person without thinking in your mind, oh, I don't like this person. I don't like that person. So that's it. Number nine, lying prevents people from trusting you. Oh, lying prevents people from trusting you. When you lie too much, people can't trust you with things. People might leave one or two things with you and they might think, oh, I don't believe this guy. I don't believe him. I don't believe this girl because they're probably going to lie or come up with excuses and you start losing people's trust. And the more you lose people's trust, the more, obviously, they can't trust you with things. The more they will look at you different, differently. Number 10, pride. Pride prevents you from seeing and learning from your mistakes. Oh, pride and ego, they're very, very similar. But listen, if you're too prideful, you're not going to be able to see areas you've done something wrong. And the worst part, one of the worst things, one of the worst traits that human beings can have is when they've done something wrong and they don't realize that they've done something wrong and they still believe what they've done is correct. Wow, that is a very, very, very bad trait. Very, very bad traits to have. But listen, sometimes going back to that forgiveness, sometimes you are going to make mistakes as a human being and you need to forgive yourself. You need to tell yourself, look, I know I've made the mistake. I know I've messed up, but have removed that pride. Be humble to be able to learn from your mistakes, to be able to grow from your mistakes so that the same mistakes don't happen again. Because if it keeps happening again and over again, that means you're not learning anything. And the last one, and the last thing what I will say is work on yourself, humble yourself and stay positive. These are very, very key. These are very, very important because these things are the enemies of life. These videos that I make, they're for myself as well because I'm also using them to learn. I'm also reflecting on things as well. I'm also looking at my life. How can I make it better? How can I ensure that these things don't turn into an enemy for myself? 
for my progress, for my, for my success. So it's all these things. Again, another wonderful video on this video, CV Talks. Have a fantastic day and take care.